Hi, I'm uh, Jim Nichols uh, from the Wagga Wagga Croquet Club and uh, I'm going to be heading over to uh, the US, over to uh, Jacksonville, Florida uh, to the Point Vedra Croquet Club. Um, that'll be happening uh, directly after Christmas. Um, I'm heading over there for four months and uh, I'm going to be the uh, Croquet Pro uh, over there. Um, it's uh, an amazing opportunity and uh, I'd like to thank uh, John Carrington, uh, the uh, developer of the uh, club over there, and uh, and there's there's probably a few more along the way, um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Um, so uh, here's the Wagga Croquet Club. Um, we play uh, a variety of uh, uh, versions of the game. Um, behind me, I'm just playing a game of association or uh, croquet or international rules. We also play uh, golf croquet or I know what uh, John refers to as uh, one-shot croquet and um, just over this way if we just swing around um, we also play uh, a version of the game uh, called gate ball yeah so um, a gate ball here it's a um, it's a bit of a hybrid version of association or international rules golf croquet and also American six wicket um, I don't personally play American six wicket so that's something um, that uh, I'm gonna have to learn um, and look forward to that um, but yeah the uh, the game has played uh, ten balls six, uh, five red five white and uh, it's played in sequential um, uh, very short game um, 30 minutes and it's it's all over and done with um, our top gate ball player um, is uh, Josh Wilshire and uh, Josh is also uh, the president of the Wagga Wagga Croquet Club so, uh, yeah um, Josh um, how long have you been playing gate ball? Five years now. Five years? Yes. Yeah. And what do, you, what do you enjoy about gate ball? Um, so what I like is the strategy mm -hmm. and the teamwork are probably the two best aspects because unlike croquet you're in a team of five people which gives that extra dynamic yep yep excellent and um so who do you normally play with uh at the moment yeah uh my mum and dad so, you, so you, you've dragged them in to, to play i or, have or? um i think initially it might have been that but yeah. they certainly enjoy it now yep so. And you go away to play, I like myself, I mean, I, I travel up to Sydney and Melbourne and I've been across the country and, and whatever. Um, similar thing with gate ball? Yep. yep, so we've been to Queensland, we've been to Newcastle and Sydney, we've been down to Melbourne for all different state and national competitions yep. over the years. Yeah, excellent. And um, I mean, this is uh, for some of the Americans that, uh, that I'm going to be meeting. Uh, is gate ball played in America? If so, whereabouts? Uh, it is. I think most of the teams are from the West Coast. Yep. I know that I believe it was two teams played in the World Championships last year. Yep. So there is definitely a startup in America. Excellent. I think you could definitely get there. Yep. And what's the demographic of a gate ball fight? Um, so in Australia, it's a pretty widespread. I'm probably on the younger end of things. Yep. I'm 21, but we've got players from younger than me, there are a few up in Queensland who are quite young, yep. early teens, up yep. to, I believe our oldest is in their 80s or maybe 90s, I think yep. he is. Um, so it's really good for just all age ranges. Um, I know in Japan where it started, it was initially planned as a sport for young people to try and yep. get them active. Yep. Okay. Um, and how many people worldwide play go for? So worldwide it's about 3 million, I think at last check. Uh, most of those players are in Japan and China, but yep. there's also a lot in Brazil as well recently yep. have started picking it up. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, well I'll let you get back to the okay. game. No worries, Thank thanks Josh. Um, so there's a bit of an insight into gate ball and uh, no doubt I'll be able to discuss that more with, uh, with everyone when I get over to, uh, to Jacksonville. Um, have a good Christmas and uh, I'll actually be flying in just before New Year's so uh, look forward to having a New Year's party with, uh, with the members and um, getting on the lawns and, and having some fun. Okay, see you soon.